dermatome examination of the lower limb. In an example of a spine examination in orthopedics. So before we start uh, meddling with the landmarks over the lower limbs, first we take a reference point. We standardize our sensation. So we ask the patient to close the eyes and we take a reference point at the forehead. So we will be comparing the landmarks over the various dermatomes of the lower limb with this standard. So this is a standard we take. So do not move the lower limb without taking a reference point at the forehead. This is a very important move. Then let us look at the various <coughs> dermatomes. Landmarks. So you can just remember simple landmarks which will facilitate your examination. So L1 will be the located at the upper thigh or the outer pocket. So for example, we can take this point as the L1. So when we test for the dermatome, we ask the patient if he can feel this sensation. Can you feel this? And we do not stop there. We further ask if the sensation tallies with the reference point at the forehead. So can you feel this? Is the sensation as intense as what you felt at the forehead earlier? Yes. So the patient might have a sensation over the dermatome, but it might be of a less intensity of the reference point for it. So we have to confirm that also. And go bilaterally. So mimic, replicate the landmark as what you do in the right lower limb with the left. So let us say you take the L1 at the right lower limb. You replicate that in the left lower limb. Can you feel this? Yes. Is it the same as the forehead? Yes. The sensation at the forehead. Yes. Then L2 will be mid thigh. Can you feel this? Yes. The sensation is the same as the yes. forehead. And L2 over the left lower limb. Can you feel this? Yes. Is the sensation the same as the yes. for reference at the forehead? Yes. Then L3 will be knee. Can you feel this? Yes. Is the sensation the same as what you felt at the forehead? Yes. Can you feel this? Yes. The sensation is the same as what you felt before. Yes. So L3 will be knee. So L1 will be upper thigh. L2 will be mid thigh. L3 will be knee. And L4 will be medial malleolus. Can you feel this? Yes. The sensation is the same as what you felt over the reference point yes. in the forehead. Can you feel this? Yes. The sensation is the same as what you felt over the forehead. Yes. Then L5 will be lateral malleolus. Can you feel this? Yes. Is it the same as sensation over the forehead? Yes. Can you feel this? Is sensation the same as what you felt over the yes. forehead? So that will be L5. Next, S1 will be at the lateral part of the plantar foot. Can you feel this? Is it the same as the sensation over the forehead? Yes. Can you feel this? Yes. Is it the same as sensation over the forehead? Yes. And S2 will be popliteus or the posterior part of the upper lip. Can you feel this? Yes. So it is the same as the sensation over the forehead. Yes. Can you feel this? Yes. Is it the same as sensation over the forehead? Yes. So that concludes the dermatome examination over the lower limb. So common mistakes which many do during the examination is due to stress or pressure. Instead of taking a gentle reference point over the dermatome, some tend to get, uh, perform a huge swipe over the dermatome, which should be avoided. So to pre uh, avoid uh, taking the uh, avoid taking swipes over huge area, surface area, which can carry the risk of transversing over various multiple dermatomes, and avoid rubbing against the skin. So avoid rubbing, avoid taking large strikes, just tap, strike, just a reference point. Just take one reference point, just strike and ask if the patient can actually have a sensation over the dermatome. So that concludes the dermatome examination for the lower